welcome back today we are going to understand very important concept user exit so whenever you are unable to achieve your requirement based on all this functionality given here then you can go for exit you can use the exit okay so let me tell you one scenario for the exit I will not be able to develop it, but I can tell you how to, you have to give the logic to the abapper. Abapper will be using the exit, he will be developing the exit. So a requirement is that you have one theory app and that theory app name is verify general journal entry for requester. So there are two theory app, one if you load uh, the journal entry from the theory the journal entry will automatically get uploaded another you have if you load it it will go for certain level of approval so this app is verify general journal entry for requester so here if you load the journal entry it will go for approval process okay so in this we have done the validation we have put the validation that validation let us understand so this is the requirement Requirement is that requirement from business is to make approver ID mandatory in the reference field. Okay. So who will be approving that approver ID? You have to enter. If this is the template of your journal entry upload. So approver ID must be maintained here. Okay. So you have to maintain here approver ID. That, that should be the mandatory field in your load template. Now. After that, approval ID is mandatory, validated whether approval ID is valid or invalid, wide, invalid in verify general journal request before submitting the, before submitter submit the document for approval. So, whatever user is entering the approval ID is valid or not. So, there are two validation. One, this should be filled. Another validation is that whatever user is putting the user ID should also be correct. He should not give the user ID which is not available in SAP. So there are two level of val I mean, two validation. SAP has to check before this journal entry gets submitted or get submitted in SAP. So for this user exit has been developed. How the logic is built let us understand. First of all let us understand how prerequisite was put. So <coughs> here prerequisite will be put this is called prerequisite so prerequisite you have put bkpf and document type so it was applicable only for few document type okay when user is entering certain document type in the load file so he user has to enter the document type also here document type so here journal entry type is nothing but document type so it was applicable for certain document type only okay now come here so if that document type is there then it should hit the user exit so user exit should be given that uh, check here you have to enter the user exit okay here it will be user exit then masses was that approval id is mandatory Enter valid approver ID. So this was the error message if user is not entering the user ID or entering the wrong uh, user ID. So how the logic was given by functional consultant. Please see this is functional consultant job. So where it will check whether BKPF XBLNR is filled or not. First it will check whether user has entered here in reference id xblnr either user has entered this or not if user is not entering anything you should give the error message first first at first check itself so first if vkpf xblnr is not filled then system should give an error message saying that approval id is mandatory in the reference field for example user entered the user id in the reference field what it should check next 
if VKPX will an age field, then system should validate whether mention approver ID is correct or not. To validate either user ID is correct or not, it should go to this table. For validating the approver ID, pass BKPF. This is BK. This is BKPF. BKPF. BK. BKPF. X billion are into this table. And this field, if the user ID, user ID is not found in this table, then it means that that is dummy user ID user has given. So you have to ask them to correct the user ID. So this is the logic we have given, and user has built the user exit development, and we have used for this requirement. So if you are not able to uh, meet the requirement from a standard process then you can you can use user exit to meet your requirement complex kind of requirement if you have then you can meet from user exit i am giving one homework for you so this is the homework for you to develop the logic and this is also real time many many client many projects are using so you know that if if you enter more than two bank account in the vendor then user has to enter the bank account during the invoice posting but system will not throw any message any warning message or error message okay that user has to select the particular bank account number so how to develop the logic so this can also be used this can be achieved in other ways also but this is one of the way you can also handle from the validation. So while posting vendor invoice posting any vendor has more than two bank accounts system should give up the message to enter the correct partner bank. So here let me go here. Let me 60. If any vendor is having okay more than two bank account number to come here. Then here partner bank account you have to choose meaning that in in which bank you are vendor wants to collect the payment right now if this vendor has only one bank account therefore it is not coming so user is forgetting to choose the right bank account number here okay so you can develop the user exit so that user has to enter the right bank account number here okay so this is one of the requirement user exit highly highly important Thank you.